So what's up guys, welcome to a brand new video. The last video we done on Zach's Yaris T-Sport, mate, you guys smashed it. Nearly 100 views in five days. I'm so proud of that video and how it came out. Today, I've got a good little treat for you. A 2005 Ford Mustang 4.6 GT Impul. I cannot wait to go out and have a little drive. So guys, I'm here with the owner and this amazing Mustang, obviously, as you've seen. It's a lovely car, mate. Okay. Lovely. So what are the specifications and everything like that on it? It's uh, 4.6. Yep. Uh, GT, uh, obviously stands for Grand Tourer. Yep. Um, I played the modifications done to it and also the modifications were putting the engine on the car and around the car uh, yeah. before I had the yeah. So all I've done really is added to what was already on there. Yeah. So it's a good deal. I bought them for this about a year and a half ago now. Nice. So, but yeah, no, again, you don't really... You're starting to see these cars, the imports starting to come over here as such, aren't you now, yeah. to be fair? And I'll be honest with you guys, these cars... I love them. I love the 2005 uh, shapes. I like the Mustangs. I just like them because they're the big old V8. American modern muscle for this shape. They're lovely. So yeah, we'll take a little bit of a walk around, yeah? Yes. And have a look. Yeah, the only modifications I had was um, <coughs> when I got the car, the brakes were squeaking a little bit. So yeah. I decided to change calipers to red because also goes with the black. Oh yeah. Um, Shelby wheels were a big selling point for me. Yeah. Um, and I also had uh, some more upgraded uh, brake discs as well. Yeah. On all four. Yeah. Um, I had to get them from the States, they weren't cheap. No. It was worth, worth the money. Yeah. And what size are the Shelby wheels? Are they like uh, 20s? 20, 20 inch. Yeah. yeah. Just, just slightly over 20 inch at the back. Yeah. Um, these ones are 20 inch as well, but there's a slight difference. Yeah. 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 I must admit they do suit this car because it because it's again guys because it's a big chunky car, big muscle car, modern muscle and chunky. Twenties, they really do set this car off and the fitment and the height, the ride height of it as well. Yeah, that's the other thing. Before I had the car, the ride height was put down by about an inch. Yeah. 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 Springs have been sorted out as well. It's got new springs. It's quite hard ride on it, it's only downside, I'd say. But then it's, it's better for speed and no man corners. And the same as things can't go around corners, this one can. Yeah. Because, so, yeah, because yeah. as we've seen on the internet, guys, you've always got the things coming out of states with the stangs, calling them so called crowd killers and everything like that. But no, this one looks like it could take a corner without taking out a couple of pedestrians, eh? I've got an Audi off. <laughs> Well, that's all right, and that's what you want. To be fair, again, to be fair, guys, if I had one, I probably would invest the money in the suspension and handling. Yeah. But other than that, it's got the power, and it's it's there. So, is there anything else? Uh, I had a front splitter put on. Yep, yeah, I saw that um, when I pulled up. I had it re sprayed by a good friend of mine recently. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, also the halo lights yeah. put on. They were on before I got the car. Yeah. Um, they look lovely to be fair mate yeah it's got a, a blue tinge yeah um so you, at certain angles it, it comes out if you take a picture it comes out like a day blue lights blue yeah lights, yeah so. obviously you've got the pat the air scoop on the bonnet yeah that's done. there's no hole in there it's just to show but yeah it's, it's, but it looks hard. yeah it um, suits it on well the, on there before i got the car as yeah well. Um, I might change these at some point. Get yeah. As well. Yeah. I reckon they look all right. To be fair, just yeah, to match, good, so. just to match the outside. Yeah. But you were saying to me off camera, there was a little bit of a story of how this came over. Yeah, there was a woman um, who worked for the Americans, uh, American Airbase. Yeah. Uh, in 2005, she bought this in one of the southern states. I don't know which one it is now. Mm. Um, and it was imported over from America. Uh, the US government paid for it to come over. Nice. Um, so she got quite a good deal. So, yeah, yeah. But no, guys, again, this is a convertible. Obviously, we're in the summertime now, so it's a perfect time for these types of cars to be out and about. Yeah. I mean, again, coming from owning a convertible, you know, it is lovely to own one. It's a different experience. Definitely. Um, on the outside, I also added, because um, when I got it originally, 
Yeah. Was it, uh, Shelby Badgers in. It's not yeah. really a Shelby, or, you know, it's Shelby Wheels, but yeah, anyway, yeah. So I had this, uh, I saw this online, I quite like this 4.6 high performance thing. Yeah, the GT. Like, really yeah. But um, these are <laughs> extra as well. These were, well, again, we've got on before I got the car. Were they, um, um well, side vents, I mean. yeah, they're like the side vents. Yeah. Were they like a factory factory option, uh, like optional extra? Yeah, I mean, with Mustangs, there's so many, you know, like components. Because you can like, spec them out how you can oh, to a exactly. point, yeah, ain't yeah, it? You can do it, you know, you can change it again, but it's, uh, it's all good. Yeah. Um, this was obviously here. I do like yeah. this. Just, to be fair, it's just like, a nice little low profile spoiler, guys. It yeah. does set this car off. I think any bigger the spoiler wouldn't. Nah. Me, it's a bit right size. But yeah, Obviously but it's the button inside and it all comes down. But, oh yeah, you know, yeah. All the, all the, all the, all the, yeah. But yeah, no guys. Even again, we come back to this. Uh, well, again, if most of you guys have seen the O5s, they have got a nice, like rear to them. The lights are nice. This is, um, um, yeah. Excuse me, this is a little bit messy in here, but I wanted to show you something. Just a little bit of disclaimer, guys. A little bit messy, but again. Oh, mess, you know? Yeah. Um, here, you see that? You don't get that very well. I don't think oh, my nose, you don't get that. I know what that is. If you don't know, guys, there's something in the states where they have to buy. F is it by law or yeah, by factory? By spe yeah, yeah, by law and factory specification on any American car, even today, they have to have a pull release inside the boot because just in case you get trapped. And you can't get out, or some you get carjacked, or something like that. Yeah, it's that. So it stops the kidnapping. It America. stops kidnappings, <laughs> everything like that. So Top Gear was right after all. Yep. So you can say again, <laughs> Top Gear was right yeah, with that, yeah. guys. So yeah. But so, no, she's the lights she, on the back. Yeah. Um, just the factory lights that haven't been changed. I don't really want to change. Yeah. Them, so, you know, now, so. am I true in saying that see these rear lights? Aren't they supposed to run? Oh, it's like. Reflect the original Mustangs ones. Yeah, was it the, the, the S197, which is what this one is? Yeah, um, it's it's more spec with the older one than you know. Yeah, it's kind of mis mixed. But I personally, I think I love the 60s ones. Like yeah, the guys. Um, I love the 5.0s, etc. But this one's in the middle of the two, and I like that. Yeah, you know, it's got the old look but with a bit more modern stuff in it. Oh yeah, but yeah, no, I like the whole idea, guys, of them trying to take inspiration from obviously that generation of Mustang, you know, and the newer ones are trying to do it, aren't they, to a point? But I think on the 05s, something like that, the older Mustangs, or you know, they're all right. So yeah, the other thing was. The exhaust, you probably notice, is a bit bigger than yeah. the actual exhaust. Yeah. Um, they go right through to the front. Uh, uh, okay. They're axle back, um, axle back loudmouth. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. a good name for them anyway. Yeah. So and this is. They were on the car before I got it, so. Yeah. But no, the way this is, though, it's just. It's one of them cars, ain't it? Like we were saying, like we were saying off camera very photogenic car because of obviously the time the location where we are as well guys but yeah. these cars are so photogenic don't matter where you take them you can always get a nice picture of them yeah definitely. but yeah so so yeah now guys well that's, that's the exterior but on the interior yeah I, had, um, well, I didn't actually again it was the one before um had um larger air intake yeah Bigger tube as well. Yeah. Give it, give it, I don't know how many horsepower. It gives about, I think about 20, 15, 20. Yeah. So, yeah, I was going to say that's another it's question. Been remapped as well. Yeah, I was going to say, um, what power are these from like factory? Well, factory stock, I believe, are about 300, which is a little less than you'd think. Yeah. Um, but when I bought this from the owner, it had been remapped and, and then so on and so on. It's probably about, it's at about 380, I reckon about 360, 380. That's not bad. Nice, it's healthy, enough. nice, healthy cruising yeah. power. And like you can uh, cruise in these, and then if you want to boot yeah. it, it's there. Yeah, and the other thing I had done in the engine was um, I had the uh, rocket, rocket covers uh, replaced yeah. because they were looking a little bit tatty. So yeah. Four racing ones. Yeah. So, should we have a look underneath this yeah, uh, pop the hood? As they say. So yeah, yeah no, guys, this is just I'm loving this more and more, guys. You don't again. These cars are becoming like one of them cars you always see. But it's a lovely, lovely car. Right, here's the 
good syringe there. Whew. Look at that, guys. Um, the stability bar. Yeah. It's gone like a pivot here. It's yeah. supposed to be like that. It's not okay. It's broken. All right, all right. Um, yeah, these are the Ford Racing the covers I put. Yeah. There. They, do, but, they set it off a lot better. I yeah, think. I think it, it adds to it. And the reason I had them blue, because it's just a silly thing, really, because this was already blue. And I thought yeah. That's quite works, you know. Well, it's a nice little bit on the engine. It gives it a nice little clean look and everything yeah. like that. But and the air intake is yeah. a lot bigger than the normal one. Oh, yeah. And so that does make a difference. But there's... The yeah. the lights. But, yeah, there she is. So, 4.6 yeah. Detroit V8 muscle. But, yeah... No, I do it like does these. get serviced quite regularly. Yeah, I suppose you that with these cars. I suppose with the owners and everything like that, owners and everything like that must be very religious on servicing yeah. and everything like that. So that's it, really. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, uh, can we go for a little drive in yeah. it? Yeah. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah, I can't wait for this, guys. So you join me in the passenger seat of uh, the Mustang, obviously, and I tell you what. It is weird being on the left, like sitting in this side. I'm facing traffic, guys. Because again, left hand drive impulse. To me, this feels very, very strange. To you, obviously, it's just normal, isn't it? Yeah, you got me. I, I was a bit worried the first time, you know, driving it in the town. So um, it took me, to be fair, a couple of months to get used to it. Yeah, yeah, I bet it would. But I tell you what, guys, from where I'm sitting and everything like this, the interior is just so lovely. It's nice. It's it's not too far away from you. Everything's in finger distance, or reaching distance, and everything like that. But this is just this is a comfortable interior to be. Yeah, it's all leather and yeah, yeah. it's really comfortable. And as I'm looking over, it, guys, the, it, even the steering wheel is just one of them ones where they've kind of again, like we were saying, it's like they've took the little bits from the '60s Mustang, added it to the O5, little bits and pieces, which are lovely. Yeah, like kind of a retro. Yeah, it's kind of like, I'd say like the retro type of car, like the retro mod or like taking inspiration off of that. So yeah, we're just out for a cruise and everything like that. And a quick question for you, mate. How's the MP miles per gallon on this? Um, good question. <laughs> no, I don't know exactly because I'm too frightened to find out. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is, I think it's one of these things with these cars, you can cruise it and everything like that. Um, I'm going to go left here, mate. This is where it's going to be a little bit sketchy. Yeah, it's got the grunt. Yeah, it's like they have. Bite. They've got some good bikes on this, and uh, yeah, no. The thing I like about this car as well, it's it's not got all the mod cons, but it's more of a driver's car. Yeah. You know. I'm looking at everything like that. I'm even I'm peeking over guys at the moment. I'm peeking over at even like this like the speedos and everything like that. It's just got that retro. That nice retro vibe in this car. I see again, I don't know what it's like on the newer Mustangs. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting a newer Mustang on the channel just to do like a comparison at some time. Like they are, at some they are different, yeah. But this just feels so lovely. You can cruise in it, and then if you want to, you can boot it. Like, you know, it's a lovely car. Yeah. I just wish I had the chance to drive it, but <laughs> that don't matter. That don't oh, matter. I'm I happy. Do. I would do. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To you guys, we're you know there's something, all right. <laughs> but no, even as a passenger, it's so lovely. But no, yeah, it's got a hard suspension, like I said earlier. Yeah, that's the only downside. But you kind of got to put up with that for, uh, for so long. Yeah, yeah. But no, if you want to take a left in, mate. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, people yeah, look at it all around. the time sometimes as well, which is quite nice. Yeah, it's just one of them cars, ain't it? It's because we. This is the thing. We never got these cars over it. No. And well, all right, we're getting the newer ones now. But to me, and I know this is going to sound biased, guys, and everything like that. No disrespect if you have got a new Mustang. They are lovely cars, but these, in my eyes, are the proper Mustangs. Yeah. The ones that were built in Detroit, you know. That have to be imported and everything like that to me are proper Mustangs. Again, no disrespect if you've got the newer Mustangs or anything like that, but yeah, 05s and the 60s to me, the proper V8s. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, no, it's, it's lovely. And I suppose, obviously, when you go out in the summer, if there's like shows and everything, I yeah. imagine this is a proper yeah, head turner. Yeah, I did a show a couple of weeks ago up in Suffolk and uh, got a second, got a runner up. Second prize for the left of the room for my class. 
so yeah. Like but yeah, it's just a treat. It is a natural treat, and I don't know if the camera is picking it up. It probably is because I've just seen my teeth in the thing. But I am smiling. I'm proper grinning because I love these cars. It's they're like, different. I mean, it's got a boost thing as well. Yeah, boost button. It's basically an overdrive. Oh, they so, come with overdrive and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, on, on the actual uh, on the, the gear stick. So yeah, I'll show you what I mean if I can. Yeah, it'd be able to give it a little boat. Down a bit first. Yep, that's fine. Well, I'll just use my foot first. Hmm. Jeez. Jeez. Gives you an idea. Yeah. It's like it takes the breath, you know? Yeah, it's like it's just big, sucked in a big old yeah. bit of air and it's ready to go. It will do that at any speed. Yeah. If I'm doing it at 80, it'll just it'll take, it takes a breath and then it should. It's like, Okay, I'm ready to go now. Let's yeah, get going. Let's go. This is what I like. It almost kicks up at the front as well, so it's like a horse. Yeah. yeah. Track, you know? so one thing about these cars with these V8s, they've always got, well, I call them, guys, I call it like the V8 shuffle. Whenever it's a V8 on a modern or a classic, you always see them like shuffle to the left or shuffle to the right because of the power that's in these ones. It's like a left here for the But yeah, no. I love this car. Seriously, mate. Thank you for bringing it down no today. Worries. But yeah this car and I'm just gonna say this now on on the channel and this is gonna be a little not a little dig but a little poke fun at Zach on uh, ZG vlogs you missed out today mate you really did miss out today you're gonna be gutted but then again I can't wait for you to get a passenger review on your channel as well so guys if you want to see like obviously my mate Zach do a review on this obviously I'll like, if you want in. a 0-60, I can do that for you. you yeah, want. we could do a 0-60. Just a straight road? Yep, yeah, we'll do a little 0-60 to for you guys. See, give me a nice little treat today with this car. Alright, you ready? Yep, yeah, you ready? Come on guys. I'm speechless to be fair guys because I mean it's cars. weird because when you're going through a town yeah. you're only going to do 30 miles an hour but yeah. I mean the police have looked at me thinking you know him one of the cops put his hand up and, and tried to like, slow me down I was doing 25 miles an hour did he just you want know, to hear the noise or did well, he? Because he because of, because of the, 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 the uh, volume of the noise in the car he thought you was doing probably more. thought about 40, 50 yeah. you know, and I wasn't you know. have you had any like like Officers just like stop for a chat and get pictures with it or not? Not yet, no. no. But I, I, I get a little bit of attention in places like the garages and stuff. Yeah. You know? And um, one bloke was eating his burger and he, and, he, and he saw the car and he saw the top of his burger. And it was quite funny. You know? <laughs> it's just one of them cars, though, isn't it? It's yeah. like you got to drop, guys. It's whatever you got to do. You know what I mean? Like you drop everything because you see the Mustang. It's like, for example, the Mark IV Supras with all the Jap like the Jack guys and everything like that. As you've seen with like the Funny Clips guys and everything like that. Where it's like, oh, is that a Supra? I said, I, I imagine it's the same with the Mustang. Yeah. You ever see the V8? Well, it's you hear the V8 grumble and then it's like, yeah, I'm dropping everything. Well, when when the roof's down, it's extremely loud. Yeah. You know, um, but I got. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot to mention. I got. Um, it's just it's a, it's like I've got a subwoofer in the back of the car. Yeah, so you got a nice so bit of a sound, sound system, system yeah. as well. Really, really fucks up the bass, nice. Yeah. But you need it because of the volume. Oh, yeah, because I hope, I really do hope that 
this camera on like this phone picks up that when we booted it, I hope it does this okay, again, justice. Again, I'll do a different one this time. Yeah. That's the one way. There are several ways of doing this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you might notice a difference. Yeah. Um, the second way, basically, is if you're stuck behind a lorry or something and you want to just don't want to put your foot down on the gas. Yeah. Another way you can just use push into overdrive. Yeah. I, that's one thing I didn't know. So there's a little fun fact for you guys. These cars came with an overdrive as well. I generally didn't know. Yeah. I thought it was like obviously just like your normal Mustang, like, you know, because again, these are all ones, aren't they? Did they do them in manuals at some? Yeah. Yeah. They do, yeah. yeah. I was originally the manual. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm mean, quite glad because it's left hand drive. I could yeah. find games doing all this. Yeah. Um, but. I'll be honest with you guys, obviously, because I'm in, I'm sitting in a passenger seat. Right, on you see, we are. This is the boost. Yeah, boost is coming on now, guys. It's not so. That's nice, though. That boost it comes in very linear. It's, it's smooth. 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 It's smooth. It's nice and smooth. It's yeah. not like. If I have to say behind this car, it's going to turn about 16. Yeah. Boost. The revs can shoot up about three or four. and linear smooth panel build up. The other way is much more violent. It's yeah, that's a fun. fun. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, but no, this is again oh, I'm impressed. I'm speechless with this car. And I'm just I oh, I'm not smiling now but because like, I got used to it. But another thing I want to say as well guys it, like I said in the beginning getting into the car and when we set off it is so different being in Obviously, this being a left-hand drive and you're sitting in the right, yeah. where I'm thinking, where's my steering wheel? Still. But, you know, because like, we're like, right-hand drive, I'm thinking, where are we? But, steering wheel-wise and everything, but as a passenger point of view, I understand what you mean, though. Like, yeah. for a left-hand, yeah, I get what you mean. You can eye everything up, you can judge everything, and even on the passenger side, on the right-hand side, yeah. you can judge everything, yeah. One of them things. No suspension. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. The brakes are good, thank God. Yeah, that's yeah. what you want. Oh yeah. But yeah. And there you have it. Yeah, I love it. Again, thank you for taking me out, mate. No worries. Yeah. So yeah. So that was a view on the 2005 M4 Mustang, 4.6, uh, yeah, GT, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, GT. And, uh, yeah, uh, if you guys want to see, well, yeah, is there anything you want to social media-wise or anything uh, like that? Um, or I'm you... using it for a wedding car. Okay. Um, I have got a couple of bookings for August, so if anyone's interested, then yeah. let me know. So, yeah, guys, if you want to... Um, I was gonna say, if you want to obviously get in contact, is there any like is what's not in there? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm on I'm on part of the uh, the, you know, the social site, the yeah. social media site anyway. So yeah, so just find you know if you want this for a wedding car or anything like that, um, let us know. Well, just yeah. give this guy a um, give me a message. Yeah, give him the message and everything like that. Sort something out. But yeah, no, it was lovely, mate. I really did appreciate this, and again, gutted obviously, but. It's whatever it is, but even as a passenger, it is so exciting this car. Mm. And yeah, so yeah, um, like and subscribe, guys, and everything like that. And uh, yeah, hopefully, I'll see you lot in the next video, which should be I'm not 100% sure yet, but it could be a nice uh, Skoda, a nice Skoda. That's all I'm gonna say. And yeah, hopefully, I'll get that on the channel next. So yeah, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.